Because your body is the temple of the living God. And we need to preserve that temple. We need to be careful of what goes into that temple and what comes out of that temple. We don't go and get involved in drug abuse and say, we are serving God. We don't go and get involved in fornication and say, we are serving God or we are preserving our temple. We don't drink alcohol in excess that we can't even think much more to pronounce our words properly. We don't go to a pub and say, I'm going to, you know, I'm a recovering alcoholic, um, but I've been born again, and I'm going to, to this pub just to evangelize. I can take, I can go, and I don't have to have a drink. We are kidding ourselves. Because the fact that we have stepped into that pub, having just come out of that recovery program. Someone will say, can I offer you a drink? And you would say, I'll just have a tonic water with some ice and maybe a slice of lemon. And you've been there so long, they'll come back and back again to you and say, do you want another? Eventually you're going to throw caution to the wind. You're going to, because life is like that. And before you know it, you are having that drink that you should have avoided. We need to be careful where we go. I know when God was, you know, on this earth, Jesus, he, he ate with sinners, tax collectors. He came to seek and save those that were lost. And we are to do that. But we need to ask God for guidance. Ask him to order our steps where we can go. God wouldn't send you somewhere where he know a weakness will come on you. God will guide you where you're to go. It's not everywhere you're supposed to go. God has people that he can send to those places. People that are not going to be so easily tempted. It's time that we get our act together. God wants a people that he can use. A people that he can trust. We need to pursue the glory of God, the presence of God, with all diligence. Don't lean on your own understanding. In all of your ways, you must acknowledge God. Whatever you're going to do, acknowledge Him. Lord, what would you have me do today? Put people in my way that I can evangelize to or I can bless. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. You want to start a new business? Acknowledge him. You're going out shopping? Acknowledge him. I will tell you something. In the course of the day you're going shopping, and you acknowledge God. God will arrange even for you to find some bargains. Prices are reduced in the supermarket. There's a sale going on at such ridiculous price that only God can bless you. We must acknowledge God in all of our ways. 